Emily Munn and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you aren't familiar with me, I do work full time in a corporate job in information technology. And then on the side in my free time, I sell on the Poshmark app. So today I wanted to do a little haul of items I picked up over the past week. And I really focus when I'm sourcing on the quality items over the quantity of items because I just don't have that much time. And so I have 13 quality items to show you today and I thought it would be fun just to do a quick YouTube video and show you what I got. Just a quick note that everything mentioned in this haul today will be listed in my Poshmark closet by the time this YouTube video goes live. So if you would like to shop my closet, just check the description box below. My Poshmark closet name is at Emily H. Munn, so you can easily find me there. And let's get into the haul. Starting with clothing items, I found five of them, and this is by far my absolute favorite. This is a Johnny Was floral long sleeve blouse. It's a size small. This is one of the newer Johnny Was tags, and I think the print is beautiful. I'm so devastated it's not my size, and someone doesn't buy this i will be shocked because i think it's just absolutely beautiful and i can't believe i found this at a thrift store this is a lululemon v-neck workout tee and it's a black color it doesn't have a size but i would say it would looks like it's maybe a six or an eight i'll definitely try it on for size comparisons the only thing is i didn't notice at the store it does have a few pin size holes throughout the material so I'll be heavily discounting this if you want to pick up a Lulu piece for really cheap since it has a couple of little tiny holes. It would still be a great piece to work out in and I think it's a nice basic workout piece. This is an Athleta Insights mock neck top and it's a really interesting design. It has like a ribbed detailing on the neckline as well as on the arms here. And it's kind of like a poncho style throughout the rest of the top. I think it would be really nice before or after workout. Here's the label here. This is one of the newer Athleta labels, and this one is a size small, just a great piece to throw in before or after a workout or something along those lines. I was really excited to find this brand. This is a pair of striped rail shorts. Here is the label. Even though this brand looks pretty basic, it retails for quite a bit, and I do like to pick it up. These are a size small, and I really like the tie waist on these. I think they're really trendy, and just a nice luxury basic to add to anyone's wardrobe. This is an absolutely gorgeous free people midi dress and it's funny because I actually purchased the same style of dress just in a different color for an event a few months ago so I recognized it immediately when I found it at the thrift store. This free people dress is a size large. There's the tag there if it'll focus. This brand I don't always pick up. I think it's kind of oversaturated, but certain pieces I will, and this was definitely one of those pieces. I think it's a really nice, beautiful dress, and it should do well. It seems very on trend to me. Moving on to shoes, which is forever my favorite category to sell on Poshmark. This is a pair of Maple suede espadrille sandals, and they are a size 40, which is a US 10. They do have a little bit of wear on the bottom, but I cleaned up the suede on the top in a recent suede cleaning video, and I think they look really nice. I love the neutral color. They were sold at Anthropology, so a great brand, which I will mark these as Anthropology, and I think just a great basic shoe. So I was excited to pick these up, and I'm excited to sell them. I think they'll do well. This is a pair of lamb black leather heeled booties, and I really love this detail on the side here. I think it adds a nice touch. Here is a label on the bottom. This is Gwen Stefani's brand. I do not believe it's made anymore, but I think they will still sell really well based on comps, and I got them for a great price. They're a size five and a half, and this is just a perfect pickup for the fall season. This is a pair of J. Crew Marina Mini Wedge Espadrille shoes, and this is the regular J. Crew label here. I don't always pick up this brand, but because these were in such great shape and a great basic, I went ahead and picked them up. If you look at the bottom here, they're in awesome shape. They're a size seven, and just a great bat basic to add to someone's wardrobe. I love this pair of Sam Edelman Dea pumps. They are just a plain black leather, but they have this beautiful little textured detail on the back. And if I turn them over, they're in excellent use condition, hardly worn at all. So I figured it would be nice for work. They are a size seven. There's the Sam Edelman logo. And I don't always pick up this brand, but again, this was an exception because they are in such great shape and a great basic for any wardrobe. 
I've seriously been loving this color of red lately. I think it's so pretty and just stunning for any outfit. This is a pair of Cole Haan lacy ankle strap wedges and these look like they were honestly never worn. They're an awesome shape. They're a size seven. If you can see that there, there's the logo. And there, the color is goji berry patent, so I can tell it's definitely a newer Kohan style. And I think these will do really well. They're definitely super stunning. I wish they were in my size. I've actually never heard of this brand before, but after looking up some comparable soles on Poshmark, I decided to pick it up. The brand is called Samuel Hubbard, and these are the Freedom Dance Ballet Flats. You can't really see the logo here, it's very faint, but if you turn these shoes over, you can see this Samuel Hubbard logo here. And it looks like these retail for around $225. I don't know much about the brand, but if you do, definitely leave it down below. It looks really interesting and I'll definitely have to do more research. But for now, it looks like I can list these for around $60 on Poshmark and that was worth it for the price I paid. They are a size 11, which is an awesome size. I would say this brand is another bolo or be on the lookout brand to keep an eye out for when you're at the thrift store. This is a pair of Hoka 1-1 Clifton 5 running shoes and these retail for quite a bit, around $150. They're really hot shoes and even though these are a little bit worn, as you can see there is somewhere on the tread, I still picked them up because I got them for a great price and I know they'll sell. They are a size 10 wide, so another great size. And here's the label here. So keep an eye out for this if you're at a thrift store, if you're at a consignment store. And they always sell really quickly and really well for me. I just got one accessory this week and I'm really picky with the purses that I do pick up as well as the clutches, wallets, that type of thing. But I like this one and I thought it was really trendy. It's a Michael Kors woven clutch. I like the square handle with the rounded edges of the bag. I think it's super trendy and this bag is in really good shape so I went ahead and picked it up. I figured it would be nice for a night out and very stylish so this was a bag I decided to go ahead and get. That's it for this short but sweet haul that I found of thrifted items. Definitely let me know what your favorite item that I found was down below. Mine was definitely that Johnny Was red floral top. I think it's absolutely beautiful and honestly, I can't believe that somebody donated it. It's such a nice, beautiful piece. If you like hauls, if you want me to do more of them, definitely give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.